my goodness, there's a lot of you. Thank you all for being here. Um, my name is Zuko. I'm an old school cypherpunk. My dad worked in the computer home computer industry. In 1979, when I was five years old, he brought home one of the first ever home computers and let little old me play with it. And I immediately fell in love. Computers were magic. And I basically never got over that. Computers are magic, and it's magical what computers let us do. So uh, now I'm 50 years old. So between then and now, I've spent most of my life researching and building technologies that increase freedom. Because as a scientist, I think there's a lot of fertile territory out there where we can get new knowledge and new tools. And as a human, I think freedom is the most important factor in whether our society is better or worse in the future. So in 2016, Uh, I, I was leading a, a team of, of brilliant creators who created the cryptocurrency Zcash. Zcash is a purely decentralized money, like Bitcoin, and the difference is that in Zcash, all of the transactions are end-to-end -end encrypted with modern, strong encryption, so that only the parties to the transaction can see anything about it, like the addresses of the senders or receivers, the amount of money, the kind of money, anything about it is only visible to the people who are party to the transaction, okay? That was the big difference. Like Bitcoin, Zcash has a 21 million coin limit so that the monetary policy can't be a tool, a tool, a lever for political manipulation. Now, in order to create Zcash, we had to implement zero knowledge proofs for the first time. Balaji says we were the zero to one of zero knowledge. Um, real quick, this wasn't in my script, but I really want to explain real quick why we had to invent zero knowledge proofs. Because if you think about it, the the miners in an open distributed network the validators or whoever, they have to exclude bogus, false, and valid transactions, and they have to include all the valid transactions. Well, how can you do that if the transactions are encrypted so that only the parties involved get to see them? The answer to that is zero knowledge proofs, where the parties involved can prove to all everyone else on the network that the contents of a transaction satisfy all the validity rules, even without revealing anything about the contents of the transaction. So. Um, zero, the Zcash kicked off the, the use of zero-knowledge proofs in practice, and they've really flowered over the last few years. Over the coming years, I expect zero-knowledge proofs to really increase the safety, scalability, and privacy of all kinds of things, both in the crypto, blockchain, Web3 world, and also in the broader um, computing infrastructure. Zero knowledge proofs turned out to be one of those areas of fertile territory to explore. Okay, now I want to talk about privacy because Zcash is the flag bearer for strong privacy that's solely under the end user's control. Um, I want to make three claims to you. Privacy is necessary for morality. It's necessary for the viability of parallel institutions and it's necessary for civilization itself. So first of all, morality. If you hold a tool in your hand, like Zcash, where no one else can control your decision about what you're gonna do. With Zcash, this goes to an extreme because not only can no one else control what you do, no one else can even find out what you did. So responsibility for your decision rests solely with you and responsibility is morality. I believe that while a few choose to do evil, that most choose to do good, and that's why human civilization improves and grows better over time. Second, privacy is necessary for the viability of a parallel institution. Um, if you don't have privacy, you don't have sovereignty. 
A good example of that is when uh, the Canadian truckers were protesting national policies in Canada. <coughs> Some well-intentioned people s donated Bitcoin to support their protests. That Bitcoin was tracked and seized by Justin Trudeau's government. When you don't have privacy, whoever has the monopoly on power can control what everyone else does. It, any organization needs exclusive control over its own resources and it needs the ability to coordinate internally and externally. And no institution can survive for long if its competitors and its enemies uh, can penetrate its information security. Privacy is necessary for the viability of parallel institutions. And lastly, I'm going to argue that privacy is necessary for civilization itself. Uh, a healthy, resilient, growing society requires a balance between public and private interests. It requires space for competition, uh, for evolution. And privacy is a part of all that. And privacy was a part of every successful society ever. And it was part of all of our societies uh, when I was born in the 1970s. And about 20 years ago, we started this radical experiment, throwing our entire society into a never before tried experiment of eliminating this basic human need from our entire society. This is very dangerous because when privacy is fully eliminated, Society becomes brittle, unable to change and evolve, because the people at the top gain the ability to uh, forbid even the possibility of change. The last thing I'm going to argue is that now is the time to act, because it's 2024, and if you wait until you need it, it'll be too late. But that's fine. Now, now is the time when we have the tools and we have the communities that you can take action to improve your privacy now, both for now and for later. And here's, some, among many things you can do, here's some of them. The first one is you can buy and hold ZEC, Z-E-C, the Zcash coin. That gives you optionality regardless of what surprises the future has in store. And also by doing that, you're supporting the worldwide underground Zcash movement. Buying and holding Zec is what makes you a member of the hidden Zcash network state. And the second thing you can do is self-custody your Zcash. So that QR code and that URL there leads you to a Zcash wallet. When you move your Zcash into that wallet, the magic happens. It disappears from the internet. Um, from that moment forward, no one else in the world except for the people that you choose to opt them into your life uh, can see what happens to your Zcash. So try it. It's easy. And the third thing you can do now, and you should start doing now in 2024, is um, integrate the Zcash protocol and the Zec asset into your products and communities and activities. That's also supporting the movement now. That's all I had to say. Hit me up in person. Um, Let's work together to protect and defend our civilization and to enable it to grow. Thank you.